Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Matt Scholar and I'm the Single Chef. I'm your classic single guy with the single guy fridge, single guy ingredients. The difference is I'm going to take these simple ingredients and I'm going to show you guys how to make them taste great. And you know, that's what I do as the single chef. I have as always my lovely taste tester here, Lily, who's going to taste the food. So if you don't take it from my word, you can't not take it from her. Right, Lily? That's right, Matt. How you doing today? I'm doing great. Cool. Are you Ready hungry? Ready for some food, yeah. Ready absolutely. for some food? Yeah. Well, that's what we're about here on Single Chef. So basically today, guys, I'm going to do something that I uh, call my breakfast burrito. And it's just a kind, of a, kind of a mishmash of a bunch of things that I've learned over the years. I've taken some leftover food that I had from last night, some fresh ingredients. But to start with, we're going to go with our 10 basic Single Chef ingredients. That is our trusty canola oil. We have some ketchup, some mustard. I've got some Worcestershire, some soy. You can't go wrong with some uh, hot sauce. I've, of course, got salt and pepper, got garlic powder, and I got my secret ingredient, which is our Thousand Island dressing, which Lily loves, right, Lily? Love it. <laughs> cool, guys. So basically, we're going to get started with this. We're just going to crack some eggs in our big old bowl right here. Try not to get any shells in there. And what I'm going to add to it today, guys, is some sausage. These are the things that I actually went out and shopped for. So if you don't have these, you want to just get some eggs. I've got myself some uh, turkey sausage here uh, and a little bit of corn from a can. And I have last night's french fries, which I'm going to incorporate into this dish. Yes, last night's, last night's french fries. Sometimes I, I leave a le little leftover french fries if I've gone to a fast food restaurant because they're always going to come in handy. I'm going to show you how that's going to work. I also have a uh, little leftover rice and beans, which is going to go nicely in this breakfast burrito as well. Um, as ever, Lily, she being from Southern California, mm -hmm. well, there's a lot of good breakfast spots in, yeah. in, in L.A. Oh, yeah. What are some of your favorite, like, breakfast foods or breakfast brunch foods? Breakfast or brunch? Um, yeah, either one. Either one. Uh, I like good egg dishes. Yeah? I'm always up for a good egg dish. And okay. if I'm uh, feeling frisky, I'll get a pancake or some French toast. Really? If you're feeling a little frisky? Yeah. <laughs> a little adventurous, a little on the wild That's side? That's right. Right on. Uh, and a good breakfast burrito is always okay by me. Right on. Well, this time on The Single Chef, we're actually going to try and wrap these burritos correctly. Nice. I like it. But either way, it's going to taste good. <laughs> it's going to taste, that's all that matters, absolutely, really. <laughs> absolutely. I also have some um, Monterey Jack cheese here, which we're going to throw in as well, guys. So what I did is I just, I basically, I just took uh, five eggs. I'm just whisking them real good. You want to make sure that that's really nice and uniform. Okay. I've got my pan here. Um, actually, before I put the eggs in, I want to cut my sausage. So I'm just going to cut right into the middle of that, break that open. I'm not going to use this whole thing because it's, See that's pretty big. We're only making um, we're only making three burritos. One for me, one for Lily, Lily, and one for you guys. So I'm gonna take half of that sausage, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna chop that up. I'm just gonna cut it into thin slices, so it'll cook quickly. We'll get a nice crisp char on those, and that is gonna make this burrito. Taste very good. So I'll just chop those up. And actually, what I like to do sometimes, I like to just go in the center then and then half them again so they're cut real nicely. So, Lily, what are uh, some of the, your favorite spots in LA that you like to go for, for breakfast or brunch, if you have any? Oh, I, breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, bread, and, bread and porridge. Bread and porridge. Yeah. Where's that? It's in Santa Monica. Okay. On Wilshire. All right. Um, that's great. They have delicious, everything they have is really good. Cool. They're open breakfast, lunch, dinner, but I highly recommend the breakfast. Breakfast? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, where else? Let's see. I'm just, I'm just, and I interrupt for a second, yeah. I'm just throwing the sausage in the pan here, and I just want to get that cooked. And this is already pre-cooked sausage, so it makes life a lot easier. We don't have to wait around for like 10, 15 minutes for the sausage to cook. So what I really want to do is just kind of crisp it up and brown it. Good. But it's really, it'll be quick. And it'll actually be quicker if I toss it over here on our hot oven. So we got that. Now, I'm going to open up this can of corn real quickly. And what the corn's going to do is, I don't use, you know, depending on how many I'm making, 
I just use like a handful or like a maybe less than half a can, but it just gives a little like crunch and a little sweetness too, which is nice. Let's just drain that water. So as you can hear, that sausage is sizzling away. Sizzling away, exactly. That's the sound. <laughs> that that sound makes me happy. That <laughs> that, that sizzling sound it makes you feel good. Yeah, it gives me a warm feeling inside. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna take these um, day-old French fries, guys, and I'm gonna just slice them up. Because you know, a lot of times in a burrito, they'll put a potato product in. They'll put you know hash browns or home fries. This is my version of it. Um, so even what you can do is, say, you went to your favorite fast food place and you got a big hunk of fries but you didn't eat them all. Just throw them uh, in some you know Tupperware or some tin foil, throw them in your freezer because when you're gonna make your breakfast burrito this is just gonna add an extra delightful flavor to it. So I'm just cutting those up real nicely and we've got our corn here. I'm also gonna slice up some of this Monterey Jack cheese. Do you like cheese in your eggs? Mm hmm Yeah? I can't eat eggs without cheese. No, 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 no. I don't know how I ever did it when I, before I tried it, but I think I was in college when I first had like my first serious cheese egg experience. Yeah. Never, never gone back. Never well, gone back. You know what they back. say. What's that? Once you go cheese egg, you never go back? Never go back. Exactly. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> so, all right, that's a pretty healthy portion of cheese. Again, guys, I just kind of do it cut up as much cheese as I'm feeling in the moment. This is how much cheese I'm feeling in the moment, so that's what I'm gonna use. And we'll just slice that up a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my corn, and I'm gonna throw some in there with the sausage. And that'll about do it there. Again, that's just gonna give it like that sweetness and a little crunch. And all these ingredients, if I do this thing right, are just kind of kind of blend together and form a real nice flavor flavor profile, if you were. I heard that on a cooking show once. Flavor profile. Flavor See, profile. Little flavor profile. So our sausage is already cooked, really. Um, I'm just going to take a little salt and a little pepper and just kind of dab that little pepper, a little salt. Again, do that to flavor, do that however much you want. If you like a lot of salt, if you want, you know, high blood pressure, put more in. It's all good. It smells great. You can smell that, huh? Yeah. yeah I'm all the way smell. over here. I know. Look at how far away you are and you can smell that. It smells really good. I'm excited. S check it. Now I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw these potatoes in. I'm just gonna take a handful of these. I'm gonna throw these in. So you can mix this all together, kind of like a stir fry, if you will, because at the end of the day, it's just going to end up all going into our, our burrito, our tortilla. So I'm just going to get all this cooking together. What, what you want to put in first, generally, guys, when you're doing this is what needs the most cooking. That's smart, isn't it? That makes sense, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I try to be makes sensible. Makes perfect sense. Thanks. I'm going to turn that on a little higher. I want that hot. Hot, hot, hot. So while that is cooking, guys, I'm going to take our tortillas, and I'm just going to, I have um, one of the oven tops here is on a real low flame or low heat, and I'm just going to heat these up. And by doing that, I'm just going to like, I don't know if you can see that here, you can see the tortilla. I'm just sort of rotating it on the stove top, and that's just going to get a little crunch so it's not completely, you know, completely soft because we don't want them to fall apart when we fold them. So if you get them a little crunchy and if you have a you know flame top, you could do that same thing on a low flame and just spin them around a little bit. Okay, that's one. Ooh, that's hot. We'll do the same thing with two others. Just give this a shake here while we're doing that. Very good, very good. And we're just rotating those again. Tortillas, just get them nice and hot. I could actually use that a little hotter. Here we go. So hopefully this time our tortillas won't fall apart. No, they'll stick together. We'll see. I'm not promising anything. I have faith. This is, yeah, you know, I appreciate the faith. Yeah. You know, I, this is, again, we're doing this live, guys. It doesn't always work out the exact way, but this will be good. We'll see. Okay, so we'll do one more. And then I'm going to take all that stuff out, and I'm going to throw our eggs in. Nice. Yes. 
Have you ever made yourself like a homemade tortilla or had like a uh, maybe like a boyfriend or someone like that cook for you to, like a burrito? Like of sorts? A breakfast burrito? A breakfast burrito. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? But never, uh, well, cook a tortilla like from scratch? Well, not from scratch, no. Oh, I'm not yeah. that fancy. <laughs> No, I've never actually done a tortilla from scratch, but I mean, just like, you know, try and cook up a nice little breakfast burrito. Yeah. How did it come out? It was great. Yeah? Breakfast burrito, anytime, any day. I'm right? Okay. Yeah. Even at night, man. Sometimes, you know. Oh, uh, br breakfast food is, should be called all day food. Yeah, I agree. Anytime food, really. I, I agree with you. Because sometimes you're just in the mood for a hearty, bur you know, hearty eggs, eggs and bacon, burrito, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So this is nice and nice and done. I'm just gonna take all of our ingredients and I'm just gonna neatly, as you can see, very neatly, pour it out into this plate. And then we're gonna begin with our eggs. So all that's cooked up real nice. And now guys, sorry if you have a few pieces of uh, you know leftover food in there, it's all gonna mix together at the end of the day. We're gonna take our eggs and we're gonna just dump them in like that. And we'll put it on the oven top here and we'll let that cook. Now the secret I learned when it comes to cooking nice fluffy eggs is that you really want to um, spend a lot of time flipping them. You know, like kind of like just go under with the spatula. Watch, I'll show you. And just kind of flip them with the sound effect. You want to go like that. <laughs> Always. Yeah, because that really makes it flip easier. And by doing that, a lot of people like cut into the egg mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. You, it it kind of dries it out. Huh. So I just like to shake the pan and just kind of whisk it, if you will, or flip it. And you can see that's already like coming together like a big kind of like a, a wall of eggs. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the cheese. Don't forget the cheese. Got to go the cheese. That's okay. So, let's see. We're good here, we're good. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna, again, I'm just gonna flip that. Just gonna keep flipping it so, that, so now the cheese is gonna melt in there while the egg stays nice and moist. And it's okay if the cheese doesn't melt down all the way because believe me in time it will. But we're actually looking pretty good there. Oh yeah, so now that, that jack cheese is melting real nicely in there. Oh, that's gonna be good. You don't want to overcook the eggs. At least I, I prefer my eggs to be a little on the, I'm going to take that off the fire. I prefer them a little on the soft side. So if you can see, we still have some chunks of cheese in there, but that cheese, like I said, will, will continue to melt because it's very hot right now. So there you go. We have some fluffy scrambled eggs with cheese. We have our other ingredients here. Ready? Yeah. Come on over. All right. Let's try and plate these, uh, make some burritos. Make a little room here. Nice. Grab a couple, you want to grab a couple plates from yes. under there? Actually, don't worry about the plates right now oh. because we're just going to roll them right here. Oh, okay. All right. Now here, do me a favor. Sure. I'm going to put three of these out here. Okay. What I'm going to do, since we have a little bit of time, mm -hmm. is I'm going to turn the oven on real quick. Okay. And I actually, the oven is on. Oh, that's great. The oven's on at 415. I All forgot. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll these up, and then we're going to put them in the oven just to finish them. Okay. And it'll give a little crispness. Nice. Crispness to the tortilla. Um, here, so let me show you one, and then you can do one. This is how I like to do it. Again, we don't want to overpack these, because then it's really hard to flip, uh, to, uh, to fold. Whoops. I'm making a little mess. There we go. That's about enough eggs on that. Remember, this stuff is very hot, so be careful. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take our mixture here of corn, french fries, and sausage, and we're going to just put that on top. Nice. Yeah. Here, why don't we switch sides? All right. Practice on one. Won't be nearly as graceful. Well, look at mine. Mine wasn't all that <laughs> graceful either, but we'll make it happen. All right, so then I'm just going to fold this up. We're going to make three here, right? We're going to do three. All right. Three is the magic number. Leave the rest in there, then. Exactly. And in, guys, in case you can't see, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm, put, I'm sort of pushing it towards the center, and then I take with my two fingers the top of the tortilla here, and then I'm going to take the side here and fold it in. And then I'm going to take the same thing on this side and fold it in. 
and then I'm just going to roll it. Roll it over. See, that, that one was a little more successful than the last batch. Mm. How you doing? That's perfect, girl. Awesome. Perfect. Want to do one more? Yeah. Here. I'll help you out with the eggs. Whoops. Just put that in there. <laughs> Pop the rest of those eggs on there. Cool. All right. And just we'll do that. And while you do that, I'll fold these guys. Again, I'm going to take my two fingers. I'm going to fold that over. Fold that in. Perfect amount. So if you have friends over or you're just cooking for yourself, you know, even if you're just cooking for yourself, you can make one of these and put it away in the fridge and save it for later and just pop it in the microwave later and, and eat yourself another one. So just going to fold that in there. And sort leftover of voila. Leftover burrito is always delicious. Can't go wrong with leftover yeah. burrito, right? It's like leftover pizza. Exactly. Some people just like it cold. I prefer to warm it up, but uh, that's just me. Okay, so now we're going to do one more thing before I pop it in the oven for a second. And that is, I'm going to get a piece of tin foil. And we're just going to lay it on there. We're going to put it in the oven for about two minutes. That's all we need. Okay. So, one burrito. Good job, by the way. Thanks. Awesome Good job. job. You. Thanks. Well, we'll see when we eat them, right? Okay. Yep. So let's just pop them in there for. One minute. Thanks. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to remove this stuff, get this stuff. Why don't we get some new plates, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Cool. So that's it. Pretty simple, guys. I mean, basically, like I said, I took some leftover ingredients that I, you know, that I had in my fridge, and uh, just mix them in, saute them in the pan. You know, just make sure everything gets hot and crispy, and then cook your eggs. Pop them on the tortilla, throw them in the oven for a minute or two, and then you're good to go eat breakfast in 20 minutes. Awesome. We're gonna do one other thing when these things are ready. We like it. <laughs> Thousand Island dressing. It can be used on anything. It really can. Yeah. It really goes it great. It makes on everything it. better. Everything goes better with Thousand Island dressing. So we're just gonna pop a little bit on the top of that. Cool. And we're ready to eat. In fact, all right, we'll give this one more minute. All right. Um, so I hope you've learned something here today. I've learned a lot. You learned how to make a mess, right? Yeah, and clean it up. <laughs> and, and clean eat it up. A good, what will hopefully be a good burrito. Exactly. We'll tell in one minute. And you know what? Let's go pop those out. Okay. I just wanted to give them a minute just to crisp up. Okay. There we go. I'll close that for Thank you. Thank you. Pop these here. And as you can see, we've got three burritos. Oh, yeah. Nice and hot, but not overly hot. Should we get our spoons? Um, you might need a spoon. <laughs> that's how we that's how we roll here in the room. We just uh, basically use spoons. Yeah, I think there's some spoons. In there. Right. While you're doing that, I'm gonna top it off with our secret sauce, aka Thousand Island dressing. Whoops, that came out pretty fast. That's all right. And here you go, sir. Thank you. Here, why don't we just? I like to do this with the ah, breakfast burrito. Smear it. it. Yeah, just kind of smear it. Smear it. Smear it. That's East Coast for spread. We're gonna smear it. And ready? Dig in. Dig in. I'm just gonna go big time style and just take right. a big bite. This is no, be hard go to go break how you wanna go. Go how you wanna go. Hard to break with the spoon. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 We're good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, right? Taste I'd, that sausage. I'll eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Wait, actually, I didn't even get to the egg part yet. I know. I just got sausage. Here. You got to go in the middle. Mm-hmm. Excuse yeah. me. Um, it's delicious. Pretty good, right? Yeah. So real simple, guys. Crack yourself some eggs, scramble them up. Like I said, mix it with your other ingredients. We only use 10 ingredients here on Single Chef. And that's basically what every single guy has in their fridge and pantry. You can cook this up for yourself or impress a lovely young lady as well. And um, that's it. Enjoy. Enjoy. And thanks for joining us in um, Single Chef. I'm Matt Scholar. And we will see you guys next time on Single Chef.